Now we want to work on the lapel, the collar, the brake line and all that. So stay with us. So I'll be using a different color of pen so you'll be able to see properly. So first thing first, on um, first thing first from 28, we're going to measure we're going to measure inwards like one inch. One inch inwards. One inch in this direction. So um, on this center front line, we're going to measure outward one centi one inch, sorry. That is for your button wrap and the button stem. So you connect in this direction. You take it up, take it up, and you take it down. So the next thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to connect this 23 to that line. Mm -hmm. So the waistline, we, where we have 21, will be where I'm going to uh, start with my brake line. So I'm going to make there one, in, one, one, and connect it to this one inch I marked. I I, I marked out in this direction. So that will be our brake line. That will be our brake line. So where we have 28, I'm going to make it two, two on the neck. I'm going to make it two. And for me to have my three, what I need to do is uh, two to three. I'm going to divide the for circumference of my neck. I'm going to divide it into eight parts. One eight, I mean eight parts. One eight of it, I'm going to add one centimeter to it. So from two, the measurement, I'm going to take it down in this direction. I'm using a different color of pen so you'll be able to see. So this is where my three is. So for me to achieve my four, my four from three is 1.5 centimeter. My four from three is 1.5 centimeter. So I'm going to I'm going to mark it in this direction. So this is my four. So for five, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to square across four. To the center front line so on this line this is my five now for my six six is, six is going to come down a bit from um from from two which is somewhere here where the star line is itself six so to achieve my seven my seven is going to be on this line remember it was one inch from two outward now to to locate my eight so to locate your eight is your eight is the back neck measurement. That is, you measure, you 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 you're going to measure the circumference of the neck you did on the back in this direction. You measure it like this, then you measure the measurement of the back neck plus um, plus zero point five. So you measure and so you measure the back neck in this way, this direction like I'm doing now. Then you then you add the zero point five. To it, then you make to take it on that line in this way. That's eight. So eight to nine is two centimeter in this direction. You can see the way I place my. If you have uh, a L shape, uh, L shape, that's a L square. You can use that, or like other one I've been using. This will be nine. So you can have your accurate line. So you join seven to nine. In this direction the 9 to 10 is about 3 centimeter so 9 to 10 is 3 centimeter in still the same way you can see the way I place my my room my master pattern I said it's 3 centimeter you measure like this so this is 10 3 centimeter so we've done 10 so I'm going to connect 3 to 5 in this direction so we're working on the color already. So 9 to 11 is 4 cm and to do that you'll be using this L shape or L square. So I'm going to do this, you place it in this direction, you make this straight line first so that you'll be able to have a perfect um, angle. Then you measure your 4, you measure your 4 cm. 
sorry <laughs> that is 11 11 so we, we connect 10 down to li the line where we have 3 in this direction so that will be our 12 so from 5 we measure inwards to, me to shape our collar 2 cm on that line in this direction 2 cm so that will be 13 so to locate your 14 you first of all do this to so locate the perfect diagonal angle by 45 then you take the line to that direction then on that line you measure three quarter three quarter inch three quarter inch so that will be your 14 that will be your 14 you make the diagonal line and um, your 14 so if you feel you don't it's too small for you you can use uh, one inch there so you connect 11 to 14 in this direction direction you make this line make them you blend it let it be not that straight but you know as you come out in that format then the next thing is uh, to shape the to shape the the lape to depend on how you want it so to determine the lape shape now you can use this uh, button wrap button stand uh, you can use it as a guide so it's not necessary you can make it more or less but you know for what we are looking at i'll be using that in this direction i'm just going to take little from it like this and connect to number one yeah but better still let me use a different bio so you see perfectly If you don't want it this way, you can as well blend it and make it more, more. So that is it about the color and all that. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, we've, this is the color now, and this is the lapel. This is the break line. That is where the fold goes in, goes in. So uh, for you to incorporate your facing, your facing can start from here. You can measure your facing can start from here in this direction like this but not to forget we've not shaped the side you know this is the side we've not shaped we've not incorporated anything so i'm going to show us how to shape it right now